What was the Earth like when dinosaurs were around? Earth is a living memory of our extinct ancestors. Evolution is a complex procedure that helps life to blossom on Earth. The origin of life on Earth is a long debate. The extreme changes over millions of years created the biosphere we are living in. Earth is the birthplace of every particle on the surface of the Earth, including humans and plants and animals. Earth has its very own old history of evolution and development. Bombardments of asteroids, the influence of gravity formation of oceans and rivers by melted glaciers were the primary source of energy production and circulation. Before we find out more about what Earth looked like back then when dinosaurs roamed Earth, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you never miss a video from us. Let's get straight into the video. How Earth was before. Earth has a history of 4.45 billion years ago, and this is just one third of the age of the universe. A lot of changes happened and formed the Earth we are looking at today, but it was not the same before. A lot of change happened and a geologist is still studying the remnants of a pre-human era in hope of finding clues where the condition of that time. Earth used to be a hot place, hot enough to make survival impossible. The ozone layer was not there because don't be surprised, but the primary Earth didn't have oxygen. And in that atmosphere, only a few organisms can survive in the Earth, certainly not us. The earliest life origination on the Earth dated back 3.5 billion years ago. It is believed that heavy rainfall impacts the deposition of life on Earth. It is also believed that life originated when gravity pulled gas and dirt from the sun and fellow planets. When finally life was pulled to Earth, a chain of creations triggered. The process of conception, germination, and hatching took its place and initiated. Earth primarily was a water world where oceans made continents and rivers based land separation took place forming countries. But before everything, our motherland Earth was unrecognizable and was an entire molten magma. As time passed by, Earth began to produce layers, the outermost, the lower one composed of molten magma, and the center one lighter and denser. Earth's primary atmosphere was composed of hydrogen and helium, and volcanic pumps brought ammonia, moisture, and carbon dioxide into our environment. It is a widely believed idea that our most primitive ancestor was photosynthesizing bacteria, and they were common ancestors of both humans and dinosaurs. Brief history of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were successfully creatures of the earth that ruled the earth for more than 66 million years. According to a widely accepted belief, they died years ago when a giant asteroid hit the earth and changed its whole geography and climate. Dinosaurs roamed the earth between 240 and 230 million years ago. They evolved from a group of dogs, horses, and turned into massive meat-eating beasts. Some of those meat-eating beasts shrank in size and by time evolved into birds. The unique anatomy of dinosaurs brings them this extravagant place in history and even today, people are curious about their nature, lifestyle, and especially how they died. Our ancestor meat-eaters were prone to harsh temperatures and we can see that Earth was not the friendliest place for the world's largest and most furious creature dinosaurs. That brings our mind to the history when life was so brutal to them because this early Earth was about to get the second most heavy bombardment of its life till now. Their posture, freed hands and long necks and long limbs make them one of the best survivors of Earth. They were warm blooded animals and some people still remember them by the name of terrible lizards. These meat eating lizards were the fastest and largest animals Earth has ever seen. Historically, these creatures were divided into many classes, and among them, Titanosaurus were the largest of all. And by the way, do you know there is still one member of the dinosaur family living with us today? Not exactly with sharp teeth and long claws, but with beaks and relatively smaller claws. Yes, guys, birds, they were from the family of dinosaurs. How Earth looked when dinosaurs were here? Long before Homo sapiens stepped on Earth's dinosaurs were the kings. Scientists divide their era into three periods, Triassic, Jurassic, and Creatius. They lived in a time zone where large masses of continents spilled into smaller ones and climatic change was in full swing. The Triassic period was around 252 to 250 million years ago. In this period, Earth was relatively hot and dry, and most of the Earth was covered in deserts. 
If you are thinking of polar ice caps and glaciers and snowfall, stop thinking there was nothing like this in that period of history. Dinosaurs were animals of hot temperature as their skin was less porous and they evolved in this time zone. As their unique skin anatomy, their skin loses minimum moisture in the water. Undoubtedly, their kidneys had an exceptional quality of retaining water. At the end of the Triassic period, there was a massive mass extinction. Many large land meat eaters lost their chance of survival. In this era, temperatures slightly fell, but still warmer than today. Rainfall started to soak the soil and result in the formation of sea appearing between land masses. Some of the changes in that period helped grow plants, ferns, and horsetails to grow. And this plentiful amount of plants turned the mass-eating dinosaurs into a very vegan dinosaurs feeding upon plants, including Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, and Brachiosaurus. By the end of this period, herds of plant-eating dinosaurs dominated the landscape. Lately, in the Cretaceous period, 145 to 66 million years ago, dinosaurs became more diverse and spread throughout the land. This zone was especially crucial for the beginning of the life of other animals and plants. Earth sees the face of very first flowering plant in this area. Mammals, including land dwellers and even small predators of dinosaurs evolved. The Cretaceous period is popular for the rise in sea level and formation of continents we know today. Europe back then used to be in many smaller islands. The evolution of single-celled algae is a miracle of this period. Previously extinct masses make up layers of sea level and their skeletons help the modern sea model we see now. How exactly dinosaurs died? Numerous civilizations were buried under the depth of the earth in each era. For approximately 120 million years, life was bounded to water availability and in this race, amphibians who needed water for almost every process of their life evolve hibernation. This was the era where scaly eggs and scaly skin texture were common among land dwellers. As we know, one of the great evolution in life is continuity, and this could happen in the case of dinosaurs, as they were exposed to multiple changes each passing time. When plenty of life was roaming the earth in the form of dinosaurs and their different relatives, millions of years ago, these dinosaur buddies had a tiny little happy world that was soon to end. We all love to watch a falling star, but can you imagine how it would be like to have one smashing your homeland? The same thing happened to dinosaurs. Chemical analysis of the period proved that due to the excessive gases and chemical explosions and volcanic activity, the atmosphere became lethal and survival became hard. These asteroids left the Earth with massive craters. These asteroids are expected to be 6 miles wide or 10 kilometers wide, leaving a crater in the Earth's bed. These craters are not jokes or myths, but actually do exist in Mexico in the Yucatan Peninsula, ranging in the diameter of 110 miles or 180 kilometers in diameter. As several thousands of rocky debris suspending in our solar system combined this massive asteroid stroke our dear Earth hard and changed its entire outlook. The thin salt layer formed on the surface of the volcano, very sensitive to explosion, got a huge one. But the young Earth still managed to cool down and begin life on its bed again. Earth is a beautiful place to live. So did dinosaurs. Beautiful forest, vast deserts, and freezing glaciers are the beauty of the Earth. The beautiful mountain ranges in the modern geography that resemble the Earth today. Scientists are still planning to regenerate dinosaurs today, and we could only hope humans could survive them. If you enjoyed today's video, hit like, and if you want to find more about a world where dinosaurs used to survive, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from us. If you know more about dinosaurs, let us know in the comment section below. And for more videos, stay tuned.